Well, it looks like if I'm going to get enough nether brick to uh, finish my roof, I'm going to need to go to the nether. Fortunately, there is a nether. Of course there's a nether. Why wouldn't there be a nether? Oh, um, here's something new. Since, uh, I believe we dropped in here last time. Count Sporkula, who noted that I was, uh, keeping chickens, made me this little chicken roost. I don't know why chickens like to hang out up there, but they do. So a lot of eggs collect there, and a little kitchen. How adorable is that? I think what I'm going to do, right now anyway, is uh, make a couple more chickens. Actually, I'm going to kill a few chickens. them well enough. Cook up some chicken. Okay, that'll do her. There's a spider in one of these apartments. It's interesting she chose to make it blue. Uh, this is part of the texture pack. It's a painting. Pretty sure. I can't find the edge of it, but yeah, it's a painting. And off we go to the town of Fringe, to the public nether portal. Some big blobs of dirt. We can do better than that. That may be a project to do at some point as well. 1.32 a.m. Mountain Standard Time here. In beautiful, crusty Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm not entirely sure what I mean by crusty, but some days I'm just not a fan of this place. Which is probably why I sort of jumped at the opportunity to go to Hawaii in a couple months. Currently I'm alone in my apartment. My housemates, one of whom I'm dating, are... Stop and remember what I'm doing. I'm looking for the nether portal. Uh, are in Hawaii now, setting the place up. I'm closing this place down. Uh, at the end of this month, our lease expires. I will have had this place empty. Probably this will be past tense by the time you see this. Uh, selling off things like the couch and the beds and things. Uh, and then I'm going to stay with a friend uh, for the next month. Uh, who happens to be a cool guy, uh, and work at uh, one of the local haunted houses. You may or may not know, depending on where you're from, uh, in uh, Utah, for a variety of interesting or not interesting social reasons, haunted houses, Halloween, are very big. Now, I came here expecting Halloween to be all but banished. Because, uh, you know, as you, you probably know, there's a large uh, religious uh, community here. The Latter-day Saints, or Mormons. Um, this is their place. This is their center of operations. And... Not knowing much about them, I assumed that any strongly religious group would believe as um, other strongly religious groups I've known uh, would do, which is very silly of me, mind you. Uh, because uh, one of the churches I was a member of used to warn people away from anything to do with Halloween because it was evil and satanic. So I assumed the, uh, the Mormons would be the same. They're not. 
They think it's fun. Halloween is a pretty big deal here. Bats? Bats! Um, Halloween is a pretty big deal here. And haunted houses in particular, haunted attractions, uh, are, are big, you know? I mean, growing up, we'd have, like, carnivals would have little ones in, in trailers. Um, there'd be small ones in church basements and some weird guy's barn, you know, of the put-your-hand-in-a-bowl-of-spaghetti variety. Where am I going? I feel dangerous. Another nether portal. Where does that one go, do you suppose? Don't care. Gonna make some more nether wreck. Oops. So I'm looking for, I guess, at least four stacks. Very big here. Haunted houses. And the one I work at is called Night... Uh, sorry. Talking and walking at the same time. Uh, the one I work at is called Fear Factory. It's uh, the newest of the large haunts in Salt Lake City. It is actually in what used to be a factory. A cement factory. Um, Portland Cement Factory, if memory serves. It's a little odd, because there's no Portland here. And, uh... There are, of course, those that claim it's actually haunted. As any place that's been abandoned for any length of time gets that reputation. A number of people died there when it was a factory, and there were squatters there when it was empty. People spin their own stories. As with any haunted uh, place, or allegedly haunted place, there's a little girl who laughs or cries. Always, always there's a little girl. <laughs> and it's about two acres. 150 to 200 actors. It takes about an hour to walk through. At a regular pace. holes because I am a good citizen. That's where I work during Halloween time. We're open for weekends and then uh, starting in mid-September and then uh, six days a week for the two weeks into Halloween and then I think the first weekend of November. There are some that are open more than that. Ooh, that looks like a dangerous place. We won't go out there. And then when that season's over, then I go to Hawaii. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm up to in the near future. So I got the place to myself, and that's why I started recording, because I always feel a little awkward with other people around. Which is on, because I used to do 
broadcast for a living. It's a while ago. There was always someone around then. Let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I'm gonna go for twelve, just so I get a, a multiple of four. Why are there? Ah, got it. Right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I fill those two, then I will have. A dozen, which is a multiple of four. Mm, hi. if anything important led up to that discussion, but that's what I'm up to. I'm working at the haunted house. I've been working haunted houses for five years now in Utah. It is one of my favorite jobs ever. And again, it's it's not something I ever would have expected. Complete shock to me. But Utah surprises me in a lot of ways. Make a lot of guesses about what a state essentially run by a church is like. It's pretty benevolent. For the most part. As with any situation where there's one group that's more or less in charge, either literally or de facto, it helps to be a member of that group. You know, it need not be something outright as it being illegal to not be a member or, you know, things like that, but there are certain advantages if you know the secret handshake. I think that's true everywhere of every group, honestly. I mean, not a literal secret handshake in most cases, but... Hey, you want to hang out among Democrats? You gotta be a Democrat. You want to hang out among Republicans? You gotta be a Republican. You want to hang out among pediatricians? I don't know. I can't take this analogy much further. Leastwise, I probably shouldn't. Big farmers? Big farmers. Why not? See, so I clearly went beyond the 12. See, I, I just don't want to have... Wow, I'm going to fill up my inventory. Fine by me, really. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think if I finish off this one... Stop it! Show us that one. How are we doing here? One, two, three, four. There we go. Ah, I had to get one extra. Don't want it. Pretty sure I can get back safely. I didn't travel outside the safe zone. Down, right? Is there a sign on it? I'm just curious where it winds up. Ooh. Kind of exposed. Not a lot exposed. No sign. Nope, not going in there. Nope, nope, nope. Just wondering if there was anything on the other side. through the portal, back to Fringe. See how long it takes me to find my way back home from there. 
because that's the way I do. Dum de dum de dum. So what else is new? Halloween is very big here, um, and as one might expect, if one knows just a little bit about LDS Mormons, they have large families here. So really, anything that's family friendly, relatively cheap, um, it's good. It's going to be popular. And fair enough. I've got friends who've got like 14 siblings. Imagine being a parent uh, trying to take all the kids out sometime. You do what you can. Where is the air thing? Hey, kitty. No, it's not an airport, but there's the haven tree. Talkie, talkie, talkie. I'm a talkative guy. Sometimes. Big clock face. I came this way, didn't I? Hello, Freylon the Weaponsmith. I don't want any of your wares. I also don't have my emeralds on me. Yes, I came this way. There we go. Huh. Huh. Oh, oh. Um, so, I'm not going home by the Skyport, but it is a fairly significant... Who's here? Where are you? Ah! There you are. Hi. What are you doing here? It's supposed to be protected in here. Spaceport. Skyport. Okay, so, uh, no, I'm just trying to find the Skyport because... I know that the way back to the seaport is through this way. Do not have a natural sense of direction in uh, real world or digital. Hi. So I rely very much on... Stop. You know what? Bite me. cheapskate about arrows, so I kind of rely on killing skeletons from time to time. I'm a cheapskate about a lot of things. My thrifty Yankee blood and my having been really broke and still being only kind of not broke. Less broke. These things combine to make me pretty much a cheapskate by nature. Thrifty, we like to call it. Or efficient. Because you can be a cheapskate about time and energy and thurbligs. Do you know what a thurblig is? It's a neat concept. A thurblig. If I'm really clever, I could tell you who coined the term and all that, but. A thurblig is a unit of. Let's see, how to describe it. It's a. It's a step in a process. Right? It's a, it's a unit of. S process steps. So, for example, to make toast, um, you've got... Uh, take the bag of bread out of the cabinet. One, open the bag of bread. Two, uh, retrieve a slice of bread. Three, uh, close the bag. Four, put the slice of bread in the toaster. Five, put push the lever down. Six, then waiting is a free one. Toaster pops up on its own. Take the toast out. Seven. Uh, put it on a plate. Eight. So we already got the plate at some point. Nine. Take up the knife. Ten, etc., etc. Right? So um, making toast is going to take a dozen or more thurbligs. And the reason this can be a useful concept is that you know, once you break any task down, and, and, and it's it's mostly useful for, like, really big tasks or automated or repetitive tasks, um, anything you can do uh, 
to reduce the number of thurblings will add up in saving of time, of energy, of money, of anything that anything measurable. Uh, so it's a useful it's a useful concept. You dig? So yes, I'm 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 stingy with thurbligs as well. When I was in the navy, uh, we would often have certain tasks that were to be done a certain way. No questions asked, and some of them were long, repetitive tasks like moving a thousand boxes from uh, from the cargo to the galley, from the cargo hold to the galley, uh, and we had these sort of metal rollers on stands and we'd kind of hump them by hand up and down stairs and run them on the rollers along the level parts um, and it worked reasonably well uh, especially if you had the the people uh, because the Navy uh, has people as a resource <laughs> I mean if it came down to it uh, they had a thousand sailors that would obey the orders to take care of it but more to the point, or more a more useful uh, labor force, uh, are the people who are in trouble. <laughs> um, because pretty much any kind of trouble you get into will will uh, include a certain amount of uh, joining of this bottom rung labor force. Uh, and then the like lowest rank people who generally don't have much of a say in the world they also uh, and so what I would do or try to do is stop for a minute look at the system as it was put together you know, take a little bit of time, analyze it and figure out what would be the best way for the system to work. Um, and when I discovered that no one wanted to hear that, I would take the minute, take half a minute, and decide what would be the best way for me to work. Right. So, like, literally, the way I grabbed the box uh, could make a difference. Because if it, if I grabbed it a little off, I'd have to adjust. That's another third leg. And then I'd have to either take a step and turn, or just turn. Um, and I was on occasion accused of being lazy because I wouldn't start right away. <laughs> um, despite the fact that if if tested um, on my own, I would I would finish first. You know, know what I'm saying? You dig? So I tend to pause and think about things. <sighs> this is going to take a while. I'm just going to sit here and do bricks for a while, so I'll come back to you when I'm done. And welcome back! So I've cooked up all of that netherrack. Made me some nether brick. Made me some nether brick stales. I don't know why I'm doing an accent. Almost never a good idea. Now I have me a roof. It's not on fire. Do you say roof or roof? When you do plural, do you say roofs or roofs? Or roof? I've definitely known people to say roof. Okay, well, I'm actually going to go ahead and end her here. Because it's already gone on pretty long. Unless I edit out some of the rambling. Then I'm thinking to switch it up. Next episode we'll do in the... Uh, survival world. Whoa. Did you see that? I think I approve of that, whatever that was. 
Um, then maybe do, like, every other episode. One in the survival world, one in... That was very graceful. Uh, one in survival world, one in cube realm. What do you think? Sound good? Sound good? Sound good? Yep, so... This is me digging dirt with dirt. Fading out. See you next time. Probably next Thursday. Because that's how I'm scheduling it. Bye now.